Paley, I'm asking men to show more respect. And I'm going to give you three reasons why women's football deserves your admiration. Women's football is not less impressive. Stop the cow. <laughs> Now I don't like any respect for female footballers or for women's football in general. I just see it for what it is. It's just nowhere near the level as men's football and it never will be. But it's definitely improving. It's got way better over the years and I'm sure it'll only continue to get better. But the men's football's getting better at the same time too. There's a reason why football or soccer, whatever you want to call it, is the most popular sport in the world. shown you a portion of that clip before but I stumbled across the full clip the other day so I had to put it in there for you guys and it's also to prove a point he didn't do it just once he did it a few times I played football from the age of 5 to 16 years old and I played for professional football teams during that time and I'm telling you to run through the whole team like that it's not something that happens every game it ain't easy those of you who played football you'll know that and it looks like they're playing on a good pitch so them girls are probably a high level but he's making it look easy this man's a menace as well he's laughing he's enjoying himself and I'm sure these women are a high level but again there's levels to this shit. Now you might be sitting there thinking oh he's a full grown man. Alright so let's have a look at when the female Zurich team the professional first team played against its under 14 boys. Just so you know, at that time, that female Zurich team was the best in their country, best in their league. And they got absolutely smashed 6-1 by 14-year-old boys. And that's not to take the piss out of them, that's just the reality. Anyway, I think that covers it for the football. Let's move over to basketball. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I think the biggest compliment you can give to a female athlete when you're competing with her is to not give her an advantage and not treat her differently to a man. Otherwise it's kind of patronising right if you're only going 50% in just because she's a woman. And these guys were obviously asked to do that and I don't think the girls even got the ball once. Even that woman on the bench was embarrassed for her. Those women there, to be fair, look really strong, look in really good shape. I don't think three average women would have actually been able to beat him. And that's a compliment to those women. Even when it was just two of them, they held on for quite a while. But again, look at the difference in strength. And she said after we'll only do one. They didn't do one. They did no more after that.
Nearly every time you see a mixed doubles match, this happens. When the guy serves, if he's got a powerful serve, she's not getting it back. The difference in speed and power between a man and woman serve in professional top flight tennis is huge. Even the best female tennis player of all time, probably the GOAT, Serena Williams, who is strong, muscular, powerful. Serena Williams and Venus Williams are like the female goats of tennis. I know there's some other ones. I'm not a huge tennis fan, but I think a lot of us know that. And people used to say that they could beat men or they could compete against the men. So they even tried this. A quarter of a century after King beat Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes, 203rd ranked German Carsten Brash beat Serena Williams and Venus Williams back to back at the 1998 Australian Open. He's 203rd ranked and he beat maybe two of the best female tennis players of all time back to back. Now I'm not trying to sh** on female athletes, I'm not trying to take away the greatness from some of these athletes like Serena Williams, Venus Williams. They've done things that most human beings couldn't do. All I'm saying is that there's a difference and pretending there isn't is unrealistic. There's actually other sports where women are better at men, usually when it comes to flexibility, women are better. Anyway, I'm going to end this video with this last clip and I think the title's pretty fitting, it's called The Reality of Biology. And I think there's a lot of people out there that need to accept that. <laughs>